The latest generation Honda Civic Type R is known for its aggressive, over-the-top styling, a punchy and responsive turbocharged 2.0-liter engine, and one of the best driving experiences you can have for the money. In today's episode, I'm building a totally one-off exhaust to match the Type R's wild design. Stay tuned. One of the most notable design features of the Type R is its triple exit exhaust. An extensive amount of design and engineering went into it from the engineers at Honda, but unfortunately the resulting engine note is a bit dull and unenthusiastic for the car. I wanna make something totally unique for the owner, so we've come up with a design that merges the three inch exhaust into three two and a quarter inch resonators, and we've designed a ton of parts to be laser cut for this, including the main muffler bracket that features the owner's company branding on it. A lot of planning's gone into this, let's get it built. Since a lot of the system was designed ahead of time, I was able to 3D print a bunch of parts that will help with the fabrication. This stainless adapter would normally be really difficult to cut accurately, but I've gone ahead and printed a sled that has a guide for the blade printed into it in the exact place I needed it. This piece lets me adapt a V-band from the factory exhaust up to the 3-inch system we'll be building. The piece that transitions from oval to round needs some of the length cut off so the oval matches the two and a quarter inch triple exits and so that the three inch section can quickly turn down before it hits the subframe. I've printed tools that will give me the exact marking distance for these cuts and I've printed them at the exact thickness so that they will double as a sled on the bandsaw. It might seem silly but I'm a lot better at following a cut line than I am at marking it and this made it super simple and super repeatable. I've also gone ahead and printed some parts to help make fabricating the merge section super easy, but first we've got to make the exhaust tips and build the muffler section. I've again commissioned friend and master fabricator Nate Millison to help with designing and fabricating the system. Nate starting on the exhaust tips, which we're making from scratch using laser cut pieces and some stainless tubing that'll be finished with Scotch-Brite. These tips wound up being really tedious to make since the laser cut pieces needed to sit perfectly on the inside of the tips and they all needed to be perfectly symmetrical within the muffler assembly. Since they're being welded in place, there's no adjusting them after the fact on the car. I think they suit the Type R perfectly. I'm super happy with how they turned out. Having the parts laser cut and squaring the tips against the welding table made the construction of the muffler section pretty straightforward. Nate's using a piece of rectangular tubing to keep the spacing between the X-shaped spacers and the resonators consistent. A hose clamp on the muffler helps keep the muffler bracket square to the assembly. The first time hanging the muffler section in the car felt pretty awesome. At this point, Nate and I had spent quite a bit of time planning and designing everything, and this was the first time we could really see what the back of the car was gonna look like. With the muffler section loosely tacked, we decided we needed to add some strength to the assembly. Using some stainless square tubing, I drilled a whole bunch of holes, we plug welded the exhaust hangers, and I was really happy how the updated mounts turned out. Nate's tack welding in some additional gusset plates before the whole muffler section goes back into the car so that we can get the mounts tacked in its final resting location. I can't emphasize how many times the muffler sections get moved around, barely adjusted, measured, checked, rechecked, both sets of eyeballs on everything. We were spending an unbelievable amount of time that I have just edited out of this because it was unbelievable. But it's important that we get this done right. There's not really any adjustment to this system, so once it's hung, that's where it's gonna lie. And if it's crooked, it's crooked. With everything checked one last time, the rear mounts are tacked into place and the muffler section is removed again so we can start on merging the resonators into the rest of the exhaust.
I printed two parts to help making this merge as simple as possible. Since we know the distance between the resonators and we know the center line radii of the bends, we know exactly what angles the bends need to be to be able to cut the merge into the oval tubing and have it fit perfectly. By printing a piece with the exact angles we need, we can guarantee we get everything symmetrical and fits just like the model. To model the guide for the notch, this can be done pretty quickly by modeling a sleeve around the center tube, then using the combine cut utility to remove any material where the tool body touches the sleeve. You do this twice for each of the bends and you have the center piece that we wind up 3D printing. This is a difficult merge to pull off by hand and this saved a ton of time to make it perfect. With the center tube notched, I've drawn out the cross section of the oval tubing the resonators will be merging to. Having this drawn out helps me make sure I don't cut off too much material which would pull the tubing away from the fixed position of the resonators. Let me know in the comments what you guys have been thinking about this project, and please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching it so far. I put a ton of time into editing these, and it really helps let YouTube know that this video is worth sharing with people. With the exhaust fully tacked and the muffler section fully welded, we've intentionally left the connection between the exhaust and the muffler section disconnected so the exhaust is easier to handle as it's being fully welded. Of everything we did, this was probably the smartest thing we could have done as it made welding the rest of the system much easier. I also felt the need to mention, if you guys are building workbenches, build them the same height as your welding table and you can see here exactly why that's super helpful to have. The finished exhaust looks absolutely incredible and it's the most satisfying feeling going from a paper sketch to modeling, laser cutting and 3D printing to having a totally wild looking custom exhaust for this Type R. I feel like we've really matched the aggressive styling of the car and made something super special and unique for the owner. Of course, none of this really matters if it doesn't sound good, so let's see how we did.
super stoked with how everything turned out. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next episode.